What is up, guys? I'm Zoff. I'm Rob. I'm Bryce. And this is Real Time. Today we're coming back at you with movie night number 91, Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind. Obviously, pretty big name, pretty big movie. Sci-fi movie, you guys voted on that this week. Um, I'm super excited for this one. I did look up the cast uh, before watching it, and it is just, I mean, one of those casts you know every every actor. Every actor is a brand name, so it's going to be super exciting to watch, especially Jim Carrey. We've watched an absolute banger of his, uh, The Truman Show, recently on the channel, and it is just, I mean, it was one of the best movies we've watched on the channel, probably, so I can't wait to watch him again and this is going to be a good one for sure yeah i have not seen this movie this movie has been a pretty it's kind of turned into like a meme on our patreon because it's been in so many polls the past years since we started doing polls and it's never won so i'm really happy it finally has one i've been looking forward to watch this one for a while because i've heard it's super good i've heard it's super sad too i'm pretty sure this is the one people say that like you watch like once it like crushes you or something could be wrong it might be a different movie that i'm thinking of but i think it's this one and uh yeah jim carrey like zuff said the truman show definitely one of the best movies we've watched on the channel i think he's just a great actor so i'm um, i didn't look up the cast so i don't really know everyone else that's in it like he said so i'm looking forward to seeing who's in this movie but i think it's gonna be really really good yeah i love eternal sunshine of the spotless mind i remember watching this for the first time in high school and just falling in love with it there was definitely a couple years where i'd consider this to be like one of if not my favorite movie i remember saying too when we watched the truman show that i really like uh jim carrey in serious roles and this is the first time i ever saw him in a super serious role and it probably is my favorite jim carrey movie and performance he's absolutely incredible in this movie so i'm really excited for you guys to watch it for the first time and uh yeah it's been a while since i've i've actually sat down and watched it but um i know i'm gonna love it just as much as i used to yeah if you like our videos make sure you like comment subscribe check out our links in the description got the page on the discord and all of our social medias as well as our p.o box and second channel and yeah we're gonna go right into movie night number 91 eternal sunshine of the spotless mind let's go grim carry it looks like Jamie Lannister. That's just like a pull-out couch, huh? Mm -hmm. In the living room. Presumably living with someone, a friend. I'm guessing. His car's banged up. It's sideswiped. What do you write? Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Took a train out to Montauk. Is that the place in? Yeah. No, no hard, hard feelings. feelings. Yeah. We're in New York. I'm not an impulsive person. Oh. Oh. This is tiny little rocks. This is like ASMR. Yeah, that's Kate Winslet, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. What was the girl on the beach? You put some liquor in there. Mm-hmm. I fall in love with every woman I see who shows me the least bit of attention. <laughs> She's so far away from him. They've been just neck and neck today. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, is this the meme? No. What? Like when the one guy's looking out the window and he's sad and the other That's guy's... a cartoon. Uh-uh. Sorry? Just... I just said hi. Uh... Hi. Hello. Hi. Closer? How far are you going? Uh, Rockville Center. Me too. Really? What are the odds? She's got some crazy hair. She reminds me of uh, Ramona. Yeah, me too. 
I was gonna say she looks like she belongs in Scott Pilgrim vs. the World. Yeah. I've seen you, man. Book slave there for like five years now. Oh. Jeez. It might be the hair. What might? It changes a lot, the color. It's called the ruin. Right. <laughs> anyway, this company makes. Does anyone else feel weird? I'm alright. Like that. I mean, how many hair colors could there be? Fifty, maybe. Someone's got Agent Orange. I came up with that one. I have Oh, I doubt that very much. Well, you don't know me, so. <laughs> Don't assume things. Sorry. <laughs> My name's Clementine, by the way. Clementine. I'm Joel. Hi, Joel. You think they're gonna be lovers, Bray? I don't know. You wouldn't do that if you're trying to be nice. I don't know any jokes about Huckleberry Hound. You have so many rhyming names. Not rhyming, but just alliteration. Yeah. Is this the Kate Winslet that was on Titanic? No, that's <laughs> a different character she played. Rose. Mrs. Clementine. I have some stuff that uh, I probably should. Uh... <laughs> You're close. <laughs> No, no, no. Sure. No, it's okay. I just have one. Oh! <laughs> I could uh, give you a ride if you need. Yeah, okay, yeah, okay. I feel like her character is how he normally is in movies. Just all like goofy and like that. That's the oldest trick in the Stalker book. Really? There's a Stalker book? I gotta read that one. I think she likes though. Spotless mind. I have lots of drinks and I can. Um... <laughs> Never mind. Go, go, go. Good night, Joel. Oh, what are those? Potatoes? Rocks? Rock puppets? Is she like... Okay, so where's the sci-fi come in? Well, it comes in. Think up, young man. I'll make the whole seduction part less repugnant. I'm just kidding! Uh, come on! She's kind of creeping me out. Anyone? Nice. God, I have to stop saying that. I'm gonna marry you. Whoa, whoa. Coming on very strong. Sounds good. But I, I, no. You should stay. No, I. He looks like he's nervous. Valentine's Day when you call. <laughs> That'd be nice. <laughs> okay. Very. <clears throat> TD's not afraid to go, go after it. No. Okay, okay. That means we're married. Oh. Tomorrow night? Honeymoon on ice? I have a feeling that, like, she actually is a stalker. There's just no way that whole first day was like that. Just randomly walking on the beach in the winter with him. Looks like a crack right there. <laughs> I don't know any. Only which ones you know. Okay. He said he doesn't know any. Oh. There's no cities. Where? <laughs> you see the point out and then back right back in. Right back into the pocket. Oh, <laughs> city is emphatic. 
You're full of shit, right? Nope. Most of it's right. Keep that hand out. This is like, <laughs> this is a super popular. I was gonna like, say. Shot. Whenever you see screenshots of this movie, that's yeah, one of yeah, all. Yeah. That's always one of the frames that they use. <sighs> Can I come over to your house to sleep? I don't know if he has a proper bed. <sighs> okay. Um, yeah, just because yeah. it can be a couch as well doesn't mean it's not a proper yeah. bed. Oh. Actually, that's exactly what it means. <laughs> Oh. oh! Firecrackers. You know who it is. Yellow Elijah jacket. Moore. You say firecrackers? And did you say Elijah Moore? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? What's his name? Elijah, Elijah Wood. Wood. <laughs> Elijah Moore's a jet. Oh. Eh, former jet. I'm sure what they're asking. <laughs> oh. Thanks. What did he ask? I don't even know. I didn't hear it because we were talking. Do you remember, Rob? No. Is this a news reporter? <clears throat> I don't think. No. Some, uh, reservations or something. Don't want to end up at Nikki D's, right? <laughs> like <romance. laughs> you want some uh, fries with that shake? Right. Drop it. Enough McDonald's jokes. Showtime at the Apollo. What the fuck? Is that Mark Ruffalo? Yes, sir. On the right. Looks like Ghostbusters or Ghost Hunters. That, my friends, is the Incredible Hulk. Oh, God. I didn't want to hear this twice. The Mickey D's jokes are yeah. playing again? You know, Valentine's Day is three goddamn days away. I want to resolve. I'm willing to be the one. Give it cross. Be like, she doesn't even know who I am. Excuse me? Can I help you find something, sir? What? Tomato? Patrick. That was Elijah Wood, I think, right? How are you? There's something up with her. Also said, is this their pants? <laughs> John Krasinski. Momentide oh. had Joel erased from her memory. What? Is that what those dudes were doing? They went over and erased Clement because they had like that shit to put on the head, right? They had some helmets. Mark Ruffalo. Okay, and we'll need a daytime phone number. Great. How is this a thing? Mr. Barry? Good, actually. Oh, oh my god! god. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she was not happy, and she wanted to move on. We provide that. What happened? And wanted to move on. We provide that possibility. What the hell is that? Not normal. Not reality. And collect everything you own that has some association with Clementine. What? Anything regarding we'll Clementine? So we'll need, uh... How long were they together? Books she may have bought you. CDs. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Journal entries. A lot of Clementine stuff. A weird amount. And after the mapping is done, our technician Didn't they know each other like three days? That way, when you awake in the morning, you find yourself in your own bed. There had to be some sort of time jump. Or he's just weird. Because that is a lot of shit. Jim character. <laughs> 
Jim Carrey has I almost said Jim character. Jim Carrey plays such a good body movement, like his like neck and stuff. You know a lot about the <laughs> neck movement, huh? Yeah. The observer. For us because of Valentine's Day. <laughs> Lab. Risk of brain damage. Well, uh major <laughs> is brain damage, but it sits on a par with a night of heavy drinking. We give you brain damage so you can forget about something. Well, what we're doing here, Mr. Barish, is if this technology existed, would you use it to forget it. something? N no. That was that black mark on the side. Can you uh, check the voltage right Jesus, we're at his house? Voltage looks fine. Really? Well, I'm not wiping as clean as I like here. I'm, just... I'm not sure what's going on. <laughs> That's all right. It's it's confusing for sure. Check the, uh, check I don't think he's actually in that place. No, it's in his head. I suppose so. Uh, this, this is about. <laughs> I, suppose I suppose we are inside, inside your head. head. Yeah. Very good. We'll dispose of these mementos one way. You won't be confused later by their unexplainable presence. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, Elijah Wood has the worst facial hair <laughs> ever in this he movie. He looks like Eminem. It's fucking terrible. Eminem. This is the last time I saw you. Got red hair or orange hair. It's three o'clock. I kind of sort of wrecked your car. Jeez. You're trying to figure out... Did you fuck someone tonight? See, Clem, I assume you fucked someone tonight. Damn, Damn. holy shit. How did you get people to like you? Ooh. God damn. Both just being mean as fuck to each other. I'm sorry, okay? I didn't mean it, right? Oh, where'd you Whoa. go? Out of the memory? Jesus. <laughs> so they did her. Oh. Jeez, bro. <laughs> You're sipping rolling rocks. What? She was unconscious, man. Oh. Beautiful and <laughs> stole a pair of her panties as well. Oh. What a fucking freak. Jesus. What? It's not like. I mean, they were clean and all. And I don't want to hear this shit. They were clean. What? He's like, what are they talking? Who's just talking? He's just in his own head hearing all of this. Any idea how unethical? <laughs> it's not really. I mean, what? What? Get that look off your face. Pretty freaking weird. You stole the girl's pants. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, look at him through the TV. Did you mm -hmm. see that? That yeah. was cool. Oh, hi, A fucking idiot. Find himself pick? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, so we have the Incredible Hulk, Mary Jane, and Frodo Baggins all in one place. Check. And Ace Ventura. Yeah. And Bruce Almighty. Uh, let me do it again. Mary hates me. And the Grinch. Never really had much luck with the lady. <laughs> Look at that fucking hair, dude. Early 2000s, baby. Wait. Blessed are the forgetful, for they get the better even... This is not a place to just be drinking, I feel like. I feel like what they're doing isn't legal. No. They're brainwashing someone? Mm-hmm. Oh. Does she change her name depending on her hair color? Like, is Patrick? What was it? it was blue, Clem and Clementines aren't blue. No, but 
Patrick calls her tangerine. Yeah. Oh my god. That's pretty cool. Clem? That's what they call themselves. Like the clash. The only they just Dude. they've set up shop in this man's house. Eating food. I'm getting old. Nothing makes any sense. Nothing makes any sense. Oh, tangerine. Nothing makes any sense. It's okay. It's okay. Hey, let's go out dancing. Yeah. You wanna watch I feel like that beginning part Zuff took place after this because of the hair and stuff. You know what I mean? Stuff? What'd you say? That was the beginning part. I feel like that happened after what's currently happening. Like it's going to happen. You think? Yeah, because his car was already all fucked up. We saw her mess up his car. Yeah. At the beginning of the movie. Her hair color. Hello? Where'd her pants go? Took them off. Why is it going wild in Joel's house? Why is the Hulk still fully clothed? <laughs> the Hulk. Wait till he transforms. <laughs> you saw his acting in this movie and he's like, yeah, he looks like he could be the Hulk. It's good acting, I'm just saying, like, not what the Hulk would do. Okay. Well, there's also another side of the Hulk called Bruce Banner. Yeah, I know. Where he's a human, which is what <laughs> Mark Ruffalo is. Yeah, I know. I'm just saying, like... He isn't like that. He doesn't do this. So excited. She still had a memory of uh, Joel. Piece of him. No. Isn't that... He, Joel got that. Yeah. It's that necklace she got her. Uh -huh. What is it? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> don't, really don't know. Well, if Joel got it, then they already met. What? If Joel got this, then they already met. Yeah, they have already met. Stuff? So, yeah. It's the, her erasing his memories of her right now. Yeah. And they already erased hers of him. But I feel like they're going to re-meet. I hope. Like, that's what the beginning of the movie is. Dude. Some of these scenes are so weird. Like, not, not in a bad way, but... Jim Carrey has two of the most, like, crazy, unique, like, mindfuck weird movies ever. This and Truman? With, yeah. <laughs> they're both just so different from everything else. Can you hear me? I don't want this anymore! Oh, there, oh, he, there goes the clothes. He got the tidy whities on. He, he aged well. Oh, yeah, he looks the same. No, I meant, like, he looks better now. <laughs> oh, I was gonna say, he doesn't look old, for sure. No, I think he looks way more handsome now than... That's what that Marvel money does to you, bro. I guess. He got facial reconstruction. Is that no, true? That's not true. He just made that up right now. Oh. <laughs> wasn't the word, either. <laughs> what did I say? Re reconstruction. <laughs> I can see where the sci-fi takes place. Yeah, it's pretty... <laughs> Pretty evident at this yeah, point in the movie. I was thinking of that word, mm -hmm. evident. That's a spooky picture of her. Is he trying to get the memories back? He doesn't want to do it anymore. <laughs> Just fucking people disappearing. Jeez. Like so if I feel like he's gonna wake up from this session and it's just gonna be the start of the movie. You know what I mean? Yeah, I wouldn't mind that. He's gonna feel like shit, not go to work, go to Montauk. She just said she wants to go to Montauk with Patrick. Yeah. You're erasing me for her. Oh. <laughs> That's a horror film. It's disturbing out of nowhere. <laughs> Oh, you cringe ball. That's actually like very fucked up on yeah. multiple levels. It's disgusting. He's one of the guys who erased her memory and now he's like pretending to be someone he's not. Clem, focus. I hired them. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm so stupid. Sweetie, calm down. Enjoy the scenery. <laughs> he probably seems like a crazy man to her. Please. Wake yourself up! Okay, so I'm gonna wake. Okay, great. Alright. Okay, here we go. Yeah. I'll try really hard. 
That was a great idea. <laughs> <laughs> Why are ants working like gangbusters? Need a couple Jim Carrey faces. Oh, oh he did open his eyes. It did work. <laughs> okay, might have actually did something there. I was one doing this in the first place. I'm sorry. You. You know me. I'm impulsive. That's what I love about you. She looks like the Wendy's girl right now. Mm. <laughs> you take me somewhere else, somewhere where I don't belong, and we hide there till morning. Just having a conversation with your girlfriend. <laughs> That exists only inside your head. Whoa. Somewhere they're not supposed to be. Get on that bike. Where'd you go? I'm supposed to come too. Listen, I'm just gonna go get a bit of soup. Can you keep an eye on Joel? You just. <laughs> This is crazy. <laughs> Put herself in a place she's not supposed to be. She's not looking at me. She's busy. <laughs> what? Cocktail at this hour. I mean, I know it's not five. I would die for a bottle. Oh, hang on. Because he's so short. I know he's four, but. Uh, Jolie, your mother wants me to mind you. Get back under the table. Scream. Ice cream. <laughs> Just wants ice cream. Come on, Joel. Joel. <laughs> oh my God. I started working. I'm scared. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I stopped the racing. Oh sh. Oh no. This is bad. This is very, very bad news for my classes. Okay. They've just been fucking partying in his house. <laughs> Van. What do I do? What should we do? I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. What should we do? Crap, crap. I don't know. I just said that. <laughs> I'm sorry. I got this under control. We have to talk to you. Stop fucking around. Okay, I'll call Howard. <laughs> <laughs> they fucked up. Apartment 1E, Rockville Center. Mary? Yeah? It's coming right now. Hey. Get your stuff, Mary. <laughs> He's like, you gotta get the fuck out of here. He fell for you when they were doing you, and now he's introduced himself like he doesn't even know you. I hope this is like a, just a huge set instead of like CG. Mm -hmm. I think that'd be so cool. <laughs> uh, hi, Howard. She, she was just here to help out. I, I wanted to understand as much as I could about the procedure as possible. I, I think it's important for my job. Your workings of the work that we do, or not that I do, but the work that is done by people where I also. She's high. She is high on marijuana. I love being paid in <laughs> What the <laughs> fuck? I've never seen you happier, baby doll. <laughs> you tiny. Four years old. In the sink. I don't understand why it's. Or maybe he's a baby. What the heck was he doing there? Oh? It just happened before with him. No. Yes. Oh, this they weren't paying attention. Baby Joel is drowning. Oh. Doc. He's just trying to hide her from getting erased. Doc. Oh. He disappeared again. Ah. Uh. I'm so sorry, Harry. Humiliation. Oh. oh. This is pretty far. I don't like it either. Just, just... Don't worry, I have a surprise. I just... Oh. I was going to ask you in the morning. Uh. Uh. <laughs> That's a bad memory. Oh. 
Oh, jeez, dude. I bet that was so cool to film. Happy memories. Looks like fun. I never seen a snowy beach. Makes sense. For some beaches. Imagine like the ocean. Do you think it freezes? Like in parts ice? of it. Does it? I'm sure there are parts that probably have like a like, little layer on top or something. Probably just like the shore. Not like actually frozen yeah, like a lake. No, like the middle of the ocean. Yeah, because there's waves that would just... Yeah, yeah, but I'm sure you could see like a little layer of ice on top of the ocean somewhere. The middle of the ocean, probably not. It's just too deep. Is it, it doesn't it have to like freeze all the way down. No. No. It can just freeze on top. By reading as come across some I thought you might like too. Oh, wow. I feel like she's gonna seduce him. I go ahead and say well, it's, it's no big deal. You're such a sweetheart. <laughs> mm. How happy is the blameless vessel's lot? The world forgetting but Eternal sunshine of a spotless mind. Mm -hmm. Name drop. Kirsten Dunst. She's the one who dream drops the name. Dream drops the name. I hate watching them fade. I don't mean to be so familiar. Oh, it's fine. It's fine. I, 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 I'm happy to eat. Oh, God. Absolutely not. I'm sorry. That was fucking weird. <laughs> Yo! Whoa! Oh, she's confessing her love. I shouldn't have said that. She has a wife. What? He has a wife. <laughs> okay. You said she the first time, so. Oh, Mary, we can't do this. Oh, yeah, you can. <laughs> what the fuck? Is he doing it? Oh shit. That's his wife. Oh. Oh my god. Who is it? Oh. Why did she come here? Probably suspicious as hell. I mean, we can't do this and then made out with her. Yeah, I mean, he's guilty. Didn't start out to be like this. I came here to work. She kissed him, but then he was like, I might kiss you back now. Because I swear I basically forced him into it. He'll be a monster, Howard. Tell me what. Oh, don't tell me some weird shit. <laughs> you can have him. You did. What? Did she get her shit er erased or something? We have a history. Oh. Uh... You, you wanted the procedure. You, you wanted it done. Get past... Uh, That's so weird. Um, I have to uh, finish the work in there. It's almost morning. We're... I mean, one of the most unprofessional companies I've ever seen in my life. Why would you do that and then let her work for you and then also kiss her? Dude, just a fucking weirdo. Hey. <laughs> hey, Stan. Let me give you a lift home. Stan knew about that. Makes him kind of fucking weird too. That just makes me question everything about my life. Remember me. What you looking for, Kirsten Dunst? Mary, sorry.
I can't believe she went right up and kissed him. Does that mean then, like, her memories of him would come back? I don't... I don't, I don't know. Hi there. <laughs> the day that they met. Can I borrow a piece of your chicken? And then you just took it. Yeah. <laughs> Stop my name. Made me like Obadar, then Obadar, then Obadar, then <laughs> That's what... You said at the beginning. Yep. Your name is magical. That's smooth. That's smooth. There's just a fucking plane in the background. No. Let's move into this neighborhood. I do sort of live with someone though. What? Female. Female. This is the house he stumbled upon at the beginning and was like looking in and stuff. You know these people? No, of course not. Come on. What? There's no idea who owns this house. This is breaking and entering? Yeah. It's freezing out. <laughs> Little fun couple idea. First date. Naomi. Our house. Just for tonight. We are David and Ruth Laskin. Which one you want to be? Uh, I prefer to be Ruth, but I'm flexible. Me? <sighs> oh. oh no, is that one of those things? Wine. Oh. Oh. Are you okay with wine? I don't know. What did you think it was? A, what's it called? Like a dumb... Like the thing that gets dumb later? Oh. There goes the house that they are in. Now I wish I'd stayed. I wish I'd done a lot of things. Regrets, past decisions. Wishing things could have been different. What if you stay this time? Mm, stay this time. You have a Change second it. chance, Joel. Oh. And then he meets her in Mondock. Last goodbye, last memory. Bye, Clem. <laughs> okay. That's it. Last one. Took all night. This is him in the morning. The first shot. Literally the first shot. Yeah. Does he know he did the procedure though? No, I mean, I, as far as I'm aware, he did not consent to doing that. Right? Did he sign something? Yeah. Thank you. It wasn't the car, dude. It was Clementine that did that. This poor girl, bro. You were at his car, and I saw you two talking, and I... So I waved to you, and you giggled, and it... I'm happy. Happy with the... secret. I just, I never saw you two together again like that, so I just, I don't know, I just figured I was imagining things. <laughs> I mean, we know. Like you Mary's Fable. You know that? No, take them back off. Look better. She's supposed to have all that shit? I don't know what that was. Like the recordings that she was listening to? No clue. Let me get my toothbrush. 
there. Okay, what did Elijah Wood say to him? We get another chance. Yeah, we have one. He probably liked her at the moment. Yeah, because they were to together, right? Yeah. He was with Patrick. I had a, the best fucking night of my entire fucking life. <laughs> we don't like nice in this movie. I like nice. Oh, shit, did she expose? Oh, God. Oh, my God. Oh, boy. I don't like myself when I'm with him. I don't like myself anymore. I can't stand to even look at him. With the apologetic smile, that sort of wounded puppy shit he does, you know? That is so weird, because they just met each other, apparently. Are you screwing with me? No! You are screwing with me. Joel, I'm not! You clearly are! Take a minute and... Get out of this movie. Oh, sweetheart. <laughs> He's seriously just the worst. <laughs> he wants you to hide behind the bush. Hey, Clementine. Nice to see you. He remembers her. <laughs> yeah, because they used to date and then they, he lives in this building. He was the one who's like, You guys going on that Valentine's date? Better make reservations. She's more than magazine reading girl. Vocabulary leaves something to be desired. He'd leave his front door open. Hey. Pronounced library. Library. Alright. Library. Wow, the way they talk about each other in these are so different, huh? That's only fair. Where's the real criminal? <laughs> Come on, not the hair, man. Oh, they drank it all. Just so, just such horrible things about each other. Jeez. Chase her down, please. Yeah. I don't know. What do you Wait. want, Joel? Wait. Just a while. She said that. That you will. You know, you will think of things, and I'll get bored of you. Okay. Oh, what a movie. That was absolutely awesome. I loved everything. Um, obviously, if you watch the video, found, I found myself a bit confused. Um, Confusing movie. Yeah, a, a bit of the time. But it, it turned out good. Bryce, uh, another, uh, another good call by you. Always getting everything right. I'm starting to think you've 
You've watched these movies. No. <laughs> don't don't plant that seed. Oh, it's no, been planted. I, I think a, a super obvious thing was that she mentioned how she changes her hair color all the time, and if you follow the pattern of her hair color towards the end of those, when she was talking to Patrick, it was blue for the first time, that bluish color, and that's when he met her. There was a lot of clues I think that led up to it. I'm sure like if if someone watched and didn't get it the second watch, it would be super super obvious of that's what's gonna happen but I, I really did uh, enjoy this movie as well um, for a while definitely was confusing um, I was like I had many theories at one point I was like are they is he just all in his head at this which he kind of was with those memories but yeah just the whole idea of those dudes like I said I, I don't I don't think I think it's the most unethical thing I've ever seen uh, it, it's very like interesting though because it's something you would consent to but then you forget you consented to yeah. it's 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 a super like it's weird it's is it ethical is it not i don't know like if, if you tell someone to do this and they do it can you like get mad at that in the future you know i don't know it's weird yeah. i mean if you're coming to the person wanting it to be erased you're probably in pain yeah but i mean i don't know in this situation uh i think the ending was really nice because they know what might slash probably will happen but they're okay with it because i mean at the end of the day that's just realistically how a lot of relationships go i mean it's not going to be rainbows and sunshine even though they've kind of went through it once already um they're going to have struggles they might not love each other at one point but i think it's the journey that that will be worth it just spending that time with each other uh going through the memories he was thinking like what what I could have done different during this, but I I think that it's important to think about like them going forward trying again because I think one of their biggest problems in their relationship was their communication skills. Like whenever they like they wouldn't actually talk to each other about how they were really feeling, and whenever they did, it was all negative and just all yelling. And now they have these tapes of them actually saying what they felt and i mean it's not good it, it wasn't happy or anything but i feel like by them listening to that that maybe will help them specifically with their communication skills and uh i mean you can just tell like going back and watching this movie how many times she's she wants to talk about something and joel's just like ah can we talk about this later let's just do it another time like they had so many very obvious relate like problems in their relationship um that are just like bryce said they're real problems that all couples have at some point um but uh yeah i just i love this movie i still love it even after watching it for ha haven't watched haven't having watched it for so long but uh yeah, I love the uh, the science fiction elements of it. I feel like this movie is a very low key science fiction film. Those parts of it are so important, and like I said, I don't think I've ever watched another movie like this before. It's just so unique and different than everything else I've seen. If you guys do like our videos, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Check out our links in the description. Got the Patreon, the Discord, and all of our social medias, as well as our PO Box and Second Channel. And yeah, we'll catch you guys next week for movie night number ninety two. Peace out.